Hi guys, I'm Megan, the editor of Insight, and I'm going to walk you through our May issue. I'm really excited because this month we reveal the winner of our cover model contest, the first time we've ever done it, and we met so many great people doing this contest, um, so you'll have to check out the issue on stands to see who the winner is because we're not going to reveal it until it comes out. So for this cover model shoot, we really wanted to keep it hyper local, so what we did was we went to local designers who we met at Gainesville Fashion Week, and we went to local boutiques and we used models who hadn't really done a lot of modeling before, so we really wanted to keep the Gainesville focus and we're so happy. We can't believe the talent that came out um, and we can't believe that you know all of these models and all these clothes and these locations exist right here in Gainesville and I think you'll be surprised. At this time of year, everyone's going to pool parties, everyone's in their bathing suit, so we wanted to give you a story that would really rejuvenate your fitness routine and who doesn't need mo motivation, right? So we went to the folks at Go Primal Fitness and convinced them to give us one of their workouts. If you haven't heard of them, it's a really innovative, neat way of working out. You don't use a lot of cardio equipment or even a lot of weights. It's a lot of um, hand weights and body weight, and they gave us a really intense workout that um, you'll have to read the magazine to check out. It's called Go Primal Fitness, and it's a totally new approach to working out. And this month, another really exciting feature, we got to talk to Sarah Jessica Parker, who is, of course, in the Sex and the City sequel. This movie, they actually go to Abu Dhabi, which is in the Middle East, and the costumes and the setting and the hotels, they look to be like an amazing location. Um, and of course, we talked to her about what it was like to shoot in such a faraway place. And she couldn't tell us much about the movie, but she did tell us about one of the hardest scenes to shoot which I thought was really surprising. This month we had an interview with Mike Dorsey of the Impossible Shoelace, and for the first time ever we got him to come into the office and play one of his favorite songs, and we were totally blown away. He's so talented and so funny in the interview. So you'll have to check it out, and then go online, of course, to check out his video. All right, that wraps it up for the editor's video of May, but don't forget to follow us on Twitter and check often because we give so many things away that I don't want you guys to miss out. See ya.